How much more embarrassment and shame can Lou Perkins be allowed to put KU through? He should have been fired three months ago over the ticket scam. A federal probe is still underway in what could amount to a $3 million theft within the KU Athletic Department. Perkins has gone into hiding this summer, or it appears that way. He's staying clear of the media, but finds himself involved in yet another controversy that reflects poorly on the university. The Kansas City Star is reporting that Perkins has cost KU over $150,000 in less than two years for using university planes as if it's his own chartered air service. He sent a plane to pick up a dog he purchased in North Carolina. He flew from Lawrence to Columbia in an executive-style jet, which cost the university $2,000. Of course, Perkins needed to be chauffeured from the airstrip in Columbia to the arena on campus for another 400 bucks. Meanwhile, Bill Self and his team went on a bus to Columbia. They had dinner at a McDonald's on I-70. Then how about the $13,000 Perkins spent for a charter flight to New York to attend a football awards dinner? He could have flown first class for $900. Uh-uh, not Perkins. He thinks he is the University of Kansas. What he's doing is not illegal, folks, but if a donor to the university wouldn't be too happy about the way this guy is spending his money. And keep in mind, the university subsidizes the athletic department, so the money for travel comes out of tuition a family must pay. In a recent interview, Perkins, who is 65, admitted he can't remember yesterday, saying, and I quote, I wish I could tell you my mind is better than it is. Then why is this man allowed to oversee a $55 million budget in the athletic department? Those who are loyal will tell you Lou Perkins has done a terrific job at Kansas. However, his detractors, like me, will tell you he is one of the most arrogant con artists in the history of college athletics. That's Jack Smack.